Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Instagram story cover. This is super easy and I've received so many questions, so let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to do is search for a wallpaper background or some kind of colorful background. I searched for mauve because it is my favorite color. I chose a background and I just saved the image on my computer. Next, you'll want to search for icon transparents. So first, for travel, I searched for a passport icon transparent and I just found one that I liked. You want to make sure it's a transparent because then then there isn't a background and it's just the image itself. So now I'm just going to be saving this awesome passport background to my computer and opening up Fonto. This is a, a great app. So you just want to go to your album, upload the background. You can change the colors and things like that. You can make it different shades and you just want to upload it so that it's the base of your icon. The next thing you're going to do is click the three horizontal lines that you see at the bottom left corner of the screen. You're going to select upload image and you're just going to select the icon that you want. As you can see, I saved a ton of icons, transparents that I love for my Instagram story. And I'm just going to be selecting the one that I'm using for I do, which is about my engagement and getting married. I am going to be changing the size of this as well because when I added it to the background, it was a little too small. And as you can see, it's completely transparent, meaning there is not a background to the image itself. So all you see is the silhouette and the colorful background. Now you're just going to click the image, click size, and increase the size to however large you want. I made it kind of big because you want to make sure that it stands out on your Instagram profile when it's in your Instagram story. Now I'm just going to be opening the Instagram app and this is where you're going to upload all of those awesome images that you saved. To add these to your highlight covers, you're just going to click the little camera icon in the upper left corner, select the image that you want. I have a ton here that I created and I absolutely love how they came out. So I'm selecting this one first. I'm pinching to zoom and kind of make them smaller so that I can upload them. Then just click on your story icon and upload all of the images like you would if you were uploading pictures from your phone regularly or a video. Um, you just want to make sure that they save to your story as you can see that I'm doing right here with all of these separate images and it's going to look crazy to the people that are following you on Instagram but trust me this is the easiest and best way to upload the images to your storyboard so that you can add them to your individual stories. The first cover I'm uploading is for home, so I just clicked new, which is right under your bio. It's the first option on your Instagram story, little bubbles at the top. So I'm going to be clicking the home icon. You will see all of the images that you saved, so you just select the one that you want. And I'm going to be labeling this as home. You can label it whatever you want. You can add emojis or anything, and it's that simple. Instead of creating a new Instagram story, as you can see, I already have home created. So what you can do is you can actually click on the Instagram story that you have. So I selected home. I'm selecting the home icon that I want for this story. And I'm scrolling through all of my saved videos that I have from Instagram that were already in that board. And I'm going to be selecting those and adding those to one Instagram story. If you get what I'm saying. So basically you're just going through and adding all of these images to the story that you already had. It's going to pop up with a different cover. So you're just going to hit edit cover, select that icon that you wanted, make it larger or smaller, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this super easy tutorial and if you make your own, please tag me on social media. I would love to see them. I will talk to you guys next time.